Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to show you how do you copy your or actually replace your AutoCAD remote controller. So this is mine as you can see here, this old one. And I have a new one right here. So this is about RM15 and it comes with the battery inside itself. So and it's as you can see it looks very similar just that this is deep blue and then this is black and now when you buy this uh, you can't use it immediately because there is some coding that you need to do inside which I will show you later so some slight differences and I'm going to show you how do you use this how do you make this work with your AutoGET so for example if I click right now so my gate isn't opening at all. Now I'm going to open it up inside and just to let you see what's inside. So you have a one very small screw here. Just take your screwdriver and then unscrew it. And then open it up. And I'll link and I'll link the item link in my video description down there so yeah once you open inside this is what you see here now when you buy this when you are looking to buy this thing the first thing you need to do is to look at the chip number of your original one inside so just open it up and then you see something similar here and then what you need to do is just look at the chip here so this says SMC 5326P-3 and uh, yeah, you need to buy the one that matches the chip in your original uh, controller. So there's SMC 5326P and then so there's also SMC 5326P-3 and mine is this version. Also keep a, keep a note that there's two frequency here and in this case mine is K330 which is 330 millihertz. Yeah, so this works for me. Yeah, and then as you can see here, there's eight chords here, and each button has three positions up, middle, and down. And what you need to do here is you need to open up your original controller and to see the nut, the position of the keys itself, and you need to do and you and you need to match yours to the original one. So once you have done that. Then you can try with your AutoCAD. Let me just put this back inside here. And this uses 23A 12 volt battery. And then you're gonna screw it back. Put it back together. Anyway, you need to put it back together and this is what you get. And now you can test it with your AutoCAD. So let me give you an example here. If you have matched your cards here, it should work like mine. So as you can see here. First button only opens one gate. And then the second button should open both gates. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and share my video if you find this useful. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.